Okay guys, so this is day one. Um, as we said in the last video, we are extremely excited about this. It's been a long time coming. Uh, and we're going to give you guys a bit more of an insight as to what the inside of the caravan looks like, which is pretty bad. Um, not going to lie. Uh, not we've... looking forward to this. <laughs> no, we've <laughs> got um, like dust masks and glasses. And we also got some gloves and both of them are leather free. Pretty much just going to gut the whole inside. So we'll show you guys what it looks like and, uh, and our progress for today. So the sink is out. It wasn't too bad actually, we might look at keeping it um, maybe as a spare or I don't know, we'll see. But as you can see it's pretty damn messy in here and like all of this wood across the back, this like thin and it's just crumbling. Look at that. So all of that's coming out too. Okay so we only had um, an afternoon to get some stuff done on day one. We didn't start till about 2.30. So we managed to just sort of get all these doors off, clean a lot of that out. Um, this back wall here, as you can see, there's a lot of damage on there. So we're, we're replacing the whole internal walls. So we ripped out a lot of that. Uh, this thing's almost out. I just need to get around the back and make sure it's not gonna pull any of the external wall down. And same deal here, I ripped off all these doors. Um, that's where the sink was, we ripped all that out. Um, and all the cabinets and drawers and bits and pieces here. And then there was a tall cupboard there, we ripped all that out as well. Um, snipped off. We're gonna be running new wiring and stuff when we get to all that, so not worried about that because it's all crappy anyway. So yeah, so that's part one of day one. And we'll be getting back to rip the rest of this stuff out and this guy and then these top cabinets or little storage areas and the roof stuff next. And this is the original State Electricity Commission of WA inspection of caravan. And you can see there it says uh, 30th day of April 1971. You vintage baby. Hey guys, so back for a second shot at gutting the caravan and uh, we managed to get a fair bit done yesterday. We only had about a three or four hour window, um, so that's pretty good. So um, home from work and just going to try and smash out an hour or two before dinner and getting some online stuff done. So basically the goal is to try and smash out this guy and that guy down the back. So yeah, let's see how we go. As you can see I'm making a bit of a mess but I'm just having to be a bit careful around the uh, wheel arches here uh, just to make sure that I'm not putting any dings in this because we need to keep this um, and also just to make sure that I'm not doing any damage to the side wall. Well we're replacing this but I don't want to put a hammer through it or anything so just kind of chiseling away, just chiseling out this frame um, so that I can get this this whole frame out here. Thank you. 
managed to get this um, first overhead side piece off. It's pretty easy, it's all fixed to the side wall so we're able to just kind of um, take a few of these uh, nuts out here and then uh, just yeah maneuver it and wiggle it and rip it out. Um, so we've just got to do the back one and the side one. The only one that's going to be a bit of a pain is we've got to get this old range hood out. It's like the tiniest little range hood I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, as you can see. That's why they used for a long time. Uh, yeah, so we've just got to get that out and then we might have to just put something in here because if that runs right out through the roof we may need to put a little cover over it for now just so that we don't get any like, water in there or anything. But as you can see, it's a pretty hot day today, sun's out, I reckon it's got to be mid-30s. So I don't know if we'll be out here all day, it might just be a, a solid three or four hours work to get the rest of this gutted and then take it easy for the afternoon. you guys so we got all of these top frames off all that shelving the um, little uh, range hood thing that was in there is gone uh, keeping the old school switch for the moment but it'll probably go at some point and there's a bit of old cabling and stuff in here but that's all getting ripped out anyway but it's looking pretty good there's a little bit of wood frame sort of stuff left to get off the floor so the next step really is to, apart from getting these last little bits of the sort of framing stuff off, um, the next step is to peel off the rest of this crappy back wall because that's sort of deteriorated. Um, and then same with the front wall as well. Uh, you can see it's got sort of damage and stuff there. So all of that's coming off. It's time to have a look at the subfloor. So. Mm. We're going to rip all the subfloor up so that basically we can stand between the the metal joists of the actual trailer frame itself. So then we can just clean up any rust, give it a good um, buff back with like a um, wire brush on a, a like wire brush blade if you like on like the grinders. Just give it a good clean up, put some rust protector stuff on it, and then get into laying the the new subfloor. What do you think, babe? Exciting. Yeah, really exciting. It's so warm in here though. Oh, I think it's, it's almost 40 degrees today. It was 37 about when we checked about, about two, hours. two hours ago. So it's probably got hotter. And it's at least another few degrees more in here. As you can see from my super red sweaty face, yep. it's time for a break. So uh, we might call it a day there uh, for our first video. Um, thank you guys for checking us out. We are really, really excited about this project. Hopefully you guys can see our vision, because we can. Yeah, it'll make more sense once we start um, showing you some of the plans and ideas for it, which we will do. We'll sit down and go through some of our plans and ideas and, and talk about you know what we're doing and why and all that sort of stuff. Um, but in the meantime, if you are keen to follow what we're doing, please like, share, subscribe, um, jump on our uh, Facebook as well, we'll put all the details below. and. Yeah, feel free to share with anyone else who might be keen to check out some DIY caravanning as well. So, uh, yeah. We'll see you next time, guys. Peace. Peace.